Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, today I want to promote you to step into your power. By this, I mean don't step into a power that a seeming authority gives you that is outside of you. Your job doesn't give you power. Your friendships don't give you power. The source, God's spirit, whatever you believe in, gives you power. Religion doesn't even give you power. You stay connected to what's true within you. That's where your guidance comes from. And as you go out here and you intermingle with the dealings of the world or in the dealings of the world, I should say. Don't forget that. When it comes to relationships, any kind, any dynamic, you hold the power. I speak about this topic today because Along my journey, I found different elements of power that I didn't even realize I was giving away. And more and more each day, I step into it. And the perspective shifts just a little bit, but that one degree is so impactful. It's so impactful. Be fearless as you move. Trust that you know you are moving the correct way. God's divine way. And no, I'm not here to preach to you. I'm simply sharing what I've come to know throughout my journey. I am not religious at all. It doesn't mean I don't have a relationship with God. Just as every other entity in this sphere that we call earth, unless you were flat earther. We all tap into the same source. And the closer you get to that power, you see the shift. I'm of the belief that we are told or it was preached to at least those in my generation that people around us to find who we are it wasn't told to us directly like that but it was implied and to an extent yeah that makes some sense to an extent but that's not the source of your power that's a reflection of the power that you use see it's It's easy to get caught up in the ways of the world, the ways of man. But it's simple to acknowledge the power that is within you. Because when you step into that light, when you step into that energy that radiates so amazingly throughout your being, it transfers through you as the vessel that you are and everything you touch lights up. It's not about arrogance. No. It's a knowing. It's a knowing who you truly are, why you're on this path, and who drops you down here to put you on your journey. That's why there's no right or wrong. We're here in the wilderness together. It's no difference. But it's what are you going to do on your journey? To keep that light bright. On gimme. And do not get caught in the trap of believing that the world has to sing your praises in order for your power to be imminent. Nah, doesn't work like that. As long as you know, it's reflected back to you. And not always in kind, that's okay. For a while, that was the mistake I made in uh, any of the relationships I had in my life. Not simply romantic. I'm talking about family, friends, acquaintances. 
I believe that if I shine a certain way or when I shine a certain way, it will be reflected back to me. And that's how I know I'm doing it right. That was completely incorrect. Completely incorrect. You know, what I realize is there are different scales and different levels of reflections that will come back to you and to me. And see that that's interesting to myself, at least. Because even as I described, I believe the episode is House of Mirrors. Even, even as I described uh, that feeling or that understanding, it was a realization of just because you send the light out does not mean it's going to bounce back to you just as you sent it. It's not. Because everybody's not matching the same energy that you want, the same frequency that you want. Some people don't even want to handle the light that you spread. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. But I did not understand that for a long time. Luckily, before I hit the half century mark, I'm not even 40 yet. It's around the corner. Luckily, I caught on. It's one of the things that helped me the most. To the extent that I don't take so many things as personal. I don't don't smile a lot. I do on my own time if I'm reading or if I'm, you know, chilling, watching a video, listening to something. Like some things do make me smile. Doesn't mean I'm not a happy person. (laughs) Very, very happy person. When I go out into the world, I don't wear that happiness on my sleeve. When I was growing up, I was always told I was attempting to look mean or attempting to look hard. And I actually believe that foolishness. To the point that I try my hardest to smile for everybody as if I were in front of a camera. No, I own it now. That's my chill face. That's just how I am. But in my brain, I'm having so much fun in this thing that we call life on this walk that we call a journey. And I owe nobody a reduction of my power to simply make them comfortable in their own skin. You don't either. With these things said, I'm not going to carry on the topic too long. Uh, Hopefully you don't hear my scanner resetting in the background. If so, okay. It's enjoying the message. Fellow travelers, I love to hear what you think. Whether you agree or not, let us know. These are the thoughts to share at the moment. I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and look forward to listening to your insights. Hopefully, something in this message was helpful for you. Until next time, be blessed.